All right, so many of you who are looking at buying a Model Y are doing so because you have kids. So if you have kids and you wanna know, understand how all this kid stuff fits in a Model Y, stay tuned. We're gonna talk about it and, and install it. All right, so in this first example, I went ahead and installed, this is a Diono Radian RXT. It's a pretty popular branded, um, car seat and what I did was a rear facing install. The reason why I did a rear facing install is because uh, a lot of uh, children up till two, almost three have to be rear facing. And the problem about rear facing is the amount of space it takes up. So it really messes up whoever's in the passenger seat because you only have so much that you can push back. Uh, when you're forward facing, you've got a lot more room and then you just gotta worry about the kids feet kicking the back. Uh, but here, this is all installed. It's all the way to the back. If you're wondering about this lift here, this is required for rear facing. Uh, so you do have to put that on here. Um, and then of course I installed the, the protector. This is by Munchkin. All product links will be down below if you're interested. What I like about this Diono car seat is that it folds. So it makes it a little bit easier to carry, but it is pretty heavy. I will say that. But most importantly is I want to show you the front passenger seat and where that ends and, and begins and how much space is there. All right, so if you can see here, uh, you'll see the car seat is ending right here. And I could just barely, it's the width of my fingers, that's the space between the back of the car seat and the passenger seat. But what I do wanna focus on is the space that the passenger seat now has is extremely limited. So I'm gonna show you how I fit in here and what it looks like just to give you an idea. All right, so getting in the passenger seat, Diono car seat is rear facing. Uh, and you can see here, my knees are essentially just almost touching the glove box. So, I mean, I feel roomy as far as here, but it just doesn't feel very comfortable to be this upright. I wanna lay back a little bit more. Um, however, remember the rear seats do recline. So let's see if that adds any space here. All right, so we're looking at the uh, rear seats here. We're gonna recline this guy. As you remember, uh, I showed you that this could recline. So this is it all the way forward. And this is it all the way back. So let's see if we can shift this. And if you think that this is reclined too much, that is the way it's supposed to be. I also have another car seat and we'll test it on the driver's side, uh, but that is the way it's supposed to be. And in fact, reclining it actually made this, the back of the car seat touch the passenger seat. So it didn't really save any room. It actually reduced room. And this is for the child to be more in a reclined position. Uh, this one does not have adjustments, but my other um, car seat does. So we'll try that on the driver's side and see how difficult it would be if you had two kids and one on either side. So let's take a look. All right, so we've got now, this is a, uh, a Graco, I think. Yeah, a Graco. It's a very popular model here when it comes to uh, car seats. And you'll see here that this is installed and uh, it's also rear facing. Uh, I've re it's, it's reclined, but let me see how far back I can push the seat. All right, so come and take a look at this. I'm gonna show you both driver and passenger seats. And you'll see here that the passenger seat is actually further than the driver's seat. So the Graco gives you a little bit more room and keep in mind that's at its maximum recline. So that's gonna be basically when your kid is almost ready to get out of rear facing, they're at their maximum recline. And I just wanna make sure that you guys see how I sit in here. I'm 5'10". Now, of course, I'm sitting a little upright, which is uh, known that that would happen, but um, I definitely have more leg room than there. You can see my knees are not if I have my knees on the pedals, I can still clear the steering wheel at the setting that it's at. And I think the steering wheel still even has uh, more space to go. Yeah, so you can increase the steering wheel even more. So no problem putting a kid behind you. Um, I think this just is the difference in brand that the Diono uh, at, is not adjustable from a recline perspective and just takes up a lot more space. So when looking at the Graco at its maximum recline, you still have space to drive the car and the passenger would feel a lot more comfortable uh, than this one. So let's go ahead and see where, how it is with it's not reclined. So as you can see here, I'll go ahead and So this is the most upright position um, for rear facing. 
And so you could definitely have it at this. Obviously, as your kid gets bigger, you need a little bit more room for their feet. But you can see I've got a little bit more space, um, almost three fingers uh, space, which then I can take the front seat and actually recline. So let's try that. Getting in here. And then now I would just probably just hit the recline. Oh yeah, this is way more comfortable. So um, yeah, if, if you wanna look at the Graco, I'll put a link to that down below uh, for the Graco. It's really good. It goes together with a whole set of accessories like a stroller and, and things like of that sort. So, uh, and that's a convertible. So that'll go, that'll convert to a base when your kid gets older and then you can go frontward facing and so forth. So I did just wanna show uh, the Graco as a frontward facing seat. Now this is as forward as it would be. You can obviously sit it up more. And then the last step is it goes into a booster. So here you've got, uh, let me get my, my measuring tape. All right, so when looking at the Graco forward facing uh, at its most angled position, so the least amount of room, you've got about seven and a half, seven inches uh, of space for you know legs and kicking. So you can measure that out or you can rec you know, sit up the child a little bit more like so. And then you get a little bit more space here uh, with the with the Graco. It's giving you about 10 inches uh, of space for your legs. So uh, I really like this uh, Graco one, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Diono one uh, forward facing. All right, so we're gonna put this Diono in forward facing. And I, ideally, ideally thinking that Diono is the best forward facing as you can see it's not even going over the the edge here where you can clearly see in the background the graco is extending further than the, the diono so let's just take a look at how much more space i can get i'm going to recline the passenger seat to about the same that the driver's seat is at and we'll take a look at measurements this is obviously a lot more so when we take a look at this, you're looking at 13 inches, um, whereas the Graco was about 10. You can see it's a lot bigger, uh, propped you up a lot higher, whereas this is a little bit more minimalistic. So it's all personal preference, pick and choose. Um, I, I really like the Graco for rear facing. I think it works really well in this vehicle, um, but the Diono, because it's not angled, you can't really do that. But for frontward facing, this is really clean. Just, and they're all convertible, so they'll last from age, one and a half all the way up to you know your child needing a booster seat okay another thing that i did want to show here um i'm going to kind of try to show you this but um i've taken the passenger seat and just pushed it back as far as it can go meaning now the passenger has maximum leg room you still have a child seat here um and so obviously it's forward facing this is not going to work rear facing but your child will have about nine and a half inches between where their seat ends and where the passenger seat begins. And let me just show you how much space you have in the front. So remember this seat is reclined all the way. Oh yeah, look at this. I can almost put my feet, my legs completely straight and I'm 5'10". So yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty relaxing. I mean, I could probably do this. Oh yeah, look at that. The door would even shut too. This is great. So. Yeah, think about that as you think about, you know, how far these seats go forwards and backwards with child seats as well. The other thing to think about if you have uh, kids is, of course, the convenience of having the two USB ports there. Now, these are USB-C. They make little adapters to convert USB-C to USB-A. So, you know, for kids, if they've got iPads or whatnot, or you want to mount something to the seat or something like that for them, this allows them to have something to, you know, constantly keep charged. They're not fighting over it. There's two. So for two kids, uh, really convenient, easy feature that's available uh, right there. And then you can even put those little retractable um, USB cables so they stay nice and neat and clean in the vehicle. Again, the other nice thing about having kids, and I know my daughter loves it in my three, is this panoramic all glass roof allowing you to see everything nature has to offer. So another nice feature for the kids and anybody else in your vehicle. Okay. So some of you wanted to know we talked about having the two car seats in and could you fit another person here's that test i think the door still has room to shut so let's try it here okay so the door is shut i'm gonna sh shift that over as much as i can this door is shut so i'm gonna shift this over as much as i can oh actually 
Okay, so well, this is where the Diono comes more in because it's not as bulky, so I feel like I'm good here. I'm gonna go ahead and put my seat belt on. So actually, oh, this ain't too bad actually, but the Graco is a little bit thicker here and on this part, so I can feel that this part is a little bit you know, pushing up against the door, you know, it is what it is. But this side, I mean, this guy's not pushing up against the door. I've got a nice, good, like, arm room. This guy's a little bit rubbing, but uh, I would have to say I'm actually pretty comfortable. I'm not too bad. So, uh, yeah, person in the middle, two car seats left and right. I have remember the rear, this guy was, I think I pushed back all the way. Um, hey, Charlie, could you push this seat back? I think this one's still reclined all the way. Um, or just push it back all the way and recline it a little bit. Like that's normal to drive. <laughs> all right, now it's hitting my knee. This is all the way back. Mm -hmm. Wow. So this chair, cause you can see it in frame is all the way back. And my knee, I, I've got a finger, fingers length, uh, space in between my knee and hitting that. And I, I feel fine. I mean, like, obviously if I recline, then my knee is going to hit this, but you know, it's not necessarily that the driver needs maximum room there. Uh, I think the, uh, Charlie, sit in the passenger seat. See if you feel comfortable. How's that comfort wise? You got space. Yeah, it's good. Okay. And you're six one, right? Yes, sir. So six one person sitting in the passenger seat. Now you're hitting me. That's all the way back. Okay. So go to what, what feels comfortable for you. Plenty of room like this. Yeah, so uh, Charlie has plenty of room and I've got about a fist uh, between my knee and the uh, the pocket of the rear seat. So plenty of room, I'm moving my knee around. This is it's actually not, not bad. It's, it's fairly pleasant. I could put my arm around my child, make sure that they're doing fine. And this child feeding bottles, bottles, you know, like that's, that's kind of, see the Graco just doesn't, just doesn't work. You have to be super small. Fiono, how you doing? So yeah, that's how, how it fits back here. And now you can see and make your own judgments from this, but yes, you can fit in the middle. You can put two kids. It's, it's not bad. It's not impossible to do. It's, it's a little, it's a little snug, but you're family, right? So that's, that's how it is. Now, of course, every parent knows that it's not just car seats, but it's strollers and bags and whatnot. And so you want to see how does it fit, right? Well, we all know that how the bags fit. The bags fit pretty nicely and easily. There's plenty of space in there. There's also, don't forget about your under latch space, which this would hold your uh, backpack or your, uh, your baby bag or your whatever you want to call it. But let's just take a standard uh, car, uh, stroller and see how that fits. I'm going to tuck kid's jacket away and my trusty tape measure. So this is a, um, a, a standard umbrella stroller. I know it's not a, uh, another huge one, but going in straight, it's not going to fit, right? So let's just go in an angle. I think that's fairly common and you can see it fits perfectly in there. Let me show you a little bit closer. All right. So you can see that it's fitting in here really nicely angled. Um, there's still a little bit more room. There's still a lot of space there, a lot of space here. Um, obviously you can stack on top. You've got your side cubbies, you've got your under cubby and don't forget, You've also got the storage space in the front for the frunk. So still plenty of storage space for me to put my baby bag or whatever and be on my way. Now, the one thing that I really did wish that the Model Y had is a foot sensor because as many of you parents know, your hands are usually always full. And so it'd be easier to open it than have to juggle with things to press the, the trunk to open. Now closing it and it opening like that are awesome and make things really easy but my aftermarket accessory on my model 3 by tesla offer that allows me to beep, open it yeah that's not present here but i'm sure those guys will figure something out uh check them out teslaoffer.com i'll put their link down below you can see i think they're uh they're gonna work on something for the y now the last wonderful thing that i don't think many have thought about is that with my model 3 back there <laughs> My child is two, she's still in Pampers, and so changing her, it's convenient to do it in the trunk, but it's not as convenient as this is. I've got a rain cover. 
So if it's raining and I'm under here, we're not getting wet. It's really, really convenient. You've got a big open space here to change your child right here. It's a higher up. So this is coming in at about, you know, maybe just over my knees. Whereas that guy down there is way below the knees. So uh, I'll give you, cause I know you guys love the data. I'll give you the measurements. So platform to ground 27 inches on here and just wait about 22 inches. Now, granted, the, the flat is not the same there where the bumper starts. It actually goes down in. So you're leaning in more, uh, which, you know, at my age, I got back problems. So, you know, you know how that is. In any case, so these are the pros. These are the cons about having, you know, if you have got children and you're looking at the Tesla Model Y and wondering, is this the car for you? Well, hopefully this video helped you understand how does the car seats fit in? How much room is it going to leave you in the front, depending on if you're getting any of these two car seats or just how much space there is, how a stroller fits in the back, some, some of your bags, some, how much more room do you have? And then one of the really cool things is being able to change your child conveniently and easily in the back trunk. So yeah, some of you may have more kids and maybe thinking about the seven seater option. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can say much about the seven seater option. It's hard to imagine it in here. I know the seats will be lower. They will not be on risers and I just can't, I don't know. We'll have to see when it comes out. One thing to know is that your second row will not recline if you get the third row option. Third row option is slated to be 2021. I think they're going to try to push it end of this year, but we'll see how that works out. But yeah, hopefully that helped you guys that are, have kids or are expecting kids. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, if you have any other questions, leave them down in the comments. If you liked this video, hit that thumbs up button. And remember, if you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.